Knock, knock. Listen up. Got a corpo in dire need. Our boy, he got sick. Now he's reaching for his boss's fat wallet. Now that I can get down with. But what do you say? Not about to leave him hanging, are we? Deeds attached. Thievery. Steal an automated Z Zeta Tech vehicle. Better get some tissues ready. This one's gonna be a real tearjerker. Pedro Aymar, a guy who thinks he's some kind of Nova Netrunner because he coded a few algorithms for Zeta Tech. Well, now he wants to clap their ass. It's not what you think, see. He has some kind of health problems, and Zeta Tech doesn't want to chip in for his operation. Crazy, right? A corp that doesn't give a shit about its employees. I'm practically speechless. But now look at that. Tears are splashing onto my screen. This is a life and death situation, V. Pedro needs our help. He and we really need the eddies. Pedro wants to clap a Zeta truck, a Zeta truck full of A-grade tech. Already got a buyer. Meet up with Pedro and figure out how you want to play this. If you help him, our readiness to help a poor soul in need will be handsomely rewarded. So this is um, another new gig from the Edge Runners uh, DLC. It's called Desperate Measures. And we got to meet Pedro in his hotel room. Capitan send you? Yeah, I'm V. One moment, please. Sorry, be right with you. Can we hack into his computer? All right, let's see. Full body conversion from Pedro Aymar to Dr. Boris Borisovich, Federal. Send the eddies or whatever it is you, uh, whatever is used over there. Yes, first installment, I receive it. What do you mean first? We settled on a fixed price. That was my entire savings down the drain. It seems we have misunderstanding. I apologize, but the funds you send, not enough for full body conversion. You must send more. Do nothing just because we are a socialist country, we do such procedures for free. Please, I'm really sick. I have ALS. How am I supposed to get the money? I'm sure you will find a way. Will you be waiting for me in Abakan? Like for real? Yes, in Abakan. Do not question my integrity. Dear Mr. Aymar, we would like to inform you that due to your excessive electricity usage, the room rental fee for the last three days is hereby increased in accordance with the Las Palapas Motel rules and regulations. Please settle your outstanding payment by 11 a.m. today. Thank you for the information. I'm sending you the overdue fees plus an advancement payment for another week at the motel. Cool. Alright, so he's using a lot of fucking electricity because he's hacking shit. The consciousness curse. Alright. What's all this? When Baldi's a dealer, Blondie's living in the motel. You always just talk to yourself? Hmm? Oh, uh, right. I wanted to make sure you weren't followed. I think we're okay. Ah, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pedro. You can't still back out, you know. Look, you're shaking like a loose exhaust pipe. Maybe this ain't the job for you. No, I've got it all planned out already. El Cap tells me you're running a jump. Could use some help. Mm-hmm. I'd like to, uh, borrow a company truck. <laughs> you want to rob your employer? Well, yes, but not so loud, please. This is your first time, right? A jump like this. <laughs> Perfect. But I'm well prepared. This is an act of war against a megacorp. You prepared to deal with the blowback? <laughs> they won't let this go. I know. Okay, then. What's your plan? Right, the plan. Uh, here's what I have so far. Our target is an automated Zeta Tech transport hauling AV thrusters. Its route changes daily via a randomizer. So how do we track it? I refactored the randomizer. I know how it'll work. Sure, so you can predict its path. Then what? I'll stop the truck first, then breach its system. Where do I come in? 
You'll be there waiting already. You'll hop in and follow my instructions to steal it. What's on it? Chinese icebreaker. Should punch a hole in Zeta Tech security. Can't hack our... their truck without it. What do you need these glow holes for anyway? They're not too big, easy to sell, and well worth hundreds of thousands. A drop in the bucket for the higher-ups, but for me, it'll change my life. Where should I wait for the truck? A place called Kenmore Cafe, up front. The truck should drive by around 5 p.m. every day for the next few days. I'll call once you're there. Pedro, let me be real for a sec. You're clearly not the rebel type. Why do this? I'd rather not talk about it. Spit it out, Pedro. I don't like unknowns. I have ALS. ALS? What's that? Doesn't sound so good. Three months ago, I was still walking. Three months from now, I'll trade my chair for a bed. I won't be able to lift a finger, utter a word, not even take a shit without help. I figure I got nothing to lose. Why not take a chance, right? Okay, count me in. Be in touch soon. Thanks. Remember, intersection just before Kenmore's Cafe. Five sharp. Be there. Zeta took sharp. Be at Kenmore Diner. Alright. See what we do. Get this done. I'm in. Slot the splinter to the right of the wheel. And I also get to try the new assault rifle, probably. Done. God damn it. Talk to me, Pedro. One sec. One sec. Got. I have control. I'll drive. So I just kick back, soak in the view? Eyes open. Cocksuckers could show up any minute. Can I use the assault rifle? I'm not sure. Oh, I can't.
to thank me. That's amazing. Nice work. Well, there you go. I'm not sure, did he die? Safe travel. A thousand times, thanks. The longer we chit chat, the easier it is for Zeta Tech to track us. Again. Of, of course. Over and out. Yeah, see ya. Beautifully done, V. Don't know about Pedro, but I consider you my hero already. See, V? Play your cards right, you'll always walk away with four pockets. Closing the gate. There you guys go. That's desperate measures for you. Until the next video, have a great night. Bye.